Hello and welcome back to the second episode of my Terraria Miscellaneous Ranger playthrough. And in between episodes, I went mining and found quite a few new items. So I, I didn't record it, so there's not going to be footage for that, but I would have just made it into like a minute at most of footage, so it's not really missing out on much. But I found a blowpipe, which is much better than the shurikens and it <laughs> uses seeds which means that I am allowed to use it. So that's a pretty cool weapon. It's much better than the shurikens. As it, I mean it actually deals knockback which is pretty cool. <laughs> I also as you can see got much better armor. I found Tim and got a wizard hat and then I also was lucky enough to get ancient shadow greaves and I just made um, a gold thing here because I have a lot of gold. I uh, also as you can see I found some good accessories and once the goblin army happens I'll be able to combine these as well. But I think what I want to do this episode is try to get the extractinator and Hermes boots as well as possibly the lava charm. To do this I think the best place to find them would be exploring like the down here various caverns and stuff. It's mostly unexplored because I think all three items that I'm looking for spot there. However, before I do that, I want to upgrade this because seeds aren't the only ammo you can use. So I have reached the jungle, which is where I can get this new ammo, which is when you kill hornets and uh, spiked jungle slimes, they can drop stingers. And with stingers, you can make poison darts, which are much better than seeds. Once I reached the jungle, I went underground in the search for hornets. However, the first thing I actually found was the jungle temple, so I'm not going to have to search around for that later in the game. I didn't find hornets for quite a while, and was eventually killed by four man-eaters that were just kind of everywhere. So after dying, I returned to the jungle in search of stingers once again. This time I actually found some stingers and was able to upgrade my ammo, which is actually a massive boost because it deals 6 more damage, which is a lot at this point in the game. So I continued to explore and found some cool stuff like a fiberglass fishing pole which will be pretty good for fishing because it's one of the best fishing poles that I can even get at this point in the game. I then died while trying to loot a chest and returned to explore a little longer but nothing that interesting happened. Well anyways, I got more than enough stingers. I have 900 poison darts, well 901, but mm. and I still have 5 extra stingers, so that's enough for an extra 50. So since I got Hermes boots um, so I th and an upgraded weapon and stuff, I think the next place that I want to go is to the sky. By that I mean I'm going to use some gravitation presence, I mean I have 6, this is way more than I need. And look for Sky Islands because some of the items on that are very useful, especially fledgling wings. <laughs> Those are probably the most useful. So yeah. Well, I didn't find a ton of Sky Islands. I got everything I need. Which, I mean, it was really just the wings, but these are cool too. So now I've upgraded all of my stuff pretty much. Well, I mean, I have better accessories with these two and better weapon, but I still need an extractinator. So I decided to explore the underground caverns in search of an extractinator. I quickly found the underground desert and decided to search within it because extractinators can generate not only in the chest, but also naturally inside of the houses. Sadly, I didn't find the extractinator, but I did find some of the cool desert items you can get. I also got the last life crystal I need to get to 400 health. I then explored some other areas and eventually found something very interesting. Wait, what? Um. <laughs> what was that? I just, there was like a thing on the ground and I broke it. And it was like, yeah, here's an enchanted sword, but... There's no shrine here. Nope, don't want to trash that. What? What is this? There's no shrine. 
The enchanted sword just spawned on its own. Is that a thing that can happen, or is this just like some weird, like, generation where the sword shrine generated inside of a mushroom biome and didn't actually generate the shrine? Well, that's weird. The slime's falling from the sky, so I think I might do that now. This should be pretty better if it's a little. A lot of good stuff from this. Mostly gel. Well, I wanted to do at least one boss this episode, so I guess I'm gonna be able to do King Slime. Most of these slimes do like one damage, so I don't think this should be too hard. King Slime's not even hard normally. I don't think it'll be that hard, even with the restrictions on weapons that I have. You feel an- wait. You feel an evil presence watching you. What? Two bosses? Slime Rain and Eye of Cthulhu at the same time? Better build this quick arena here. Hopefully I have good enough gear to do this. Well, it seems like I might be doing Eye of Cthulhu. Um, I don't really want to end up battling Eye of Cthulhu and uh, King Slime at the same time. So I'm just going to kind of ignore these guys for now. This is my very good arena. Oh god, it's I have Cthulhu. Okay. So, for this, I'm probably just gonna... This hopefully will be good. Oh, cool, I can one-shot the little eyes. That's useful. If I need to, I can also use grenades. I have nine. Yeah, just swap those so that I can easily access them. Yeah, hopefully I can do this. I mean, I have 400 health and 25 defense, and... Like, an, an okay weapon. Seems to be pretty decent. Can one-shot these guys and deal decent damage to him. So, hopefully, can do this. Oh, yeah, also have fledgling wings. Those are going to be good. It's kind of just doing this part. Which, I can I can outrun, so. Not too dangerous until, like, the very end. Well, I haven't, I haven't had to heal yet, so... Yeah, I mean, I think I'm definitely geared up enough for this fight. 500 health. One problem is it's, it's going to be really hard to hit now. I swear if I die. Okay. Well, that was kind of intense, but not too difficult. And uh, the thing I got is what you always get. But what kind of thing? Hasty. That's pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna try and spawn King Slime because getting two bosses done would be pretty cool. Oh, there's King Slime. Where is King Slime? Oh, there he is. The slimy slime. I mean, I just did Eye of Cthulhu, so I should be able to do King Slime, and I have dashes now too. I think this is probably the end of the episode, so um, after I do this, I'm probably going to go fishing a little bit and search underground a little longer. Okay, actually, these like do not deal much damage at all, so this will be fine. King Slime is very small now. And there we go. Ooh, I got the trophy. So I got two of these pieces of armor, which I think are just like whatever class you want. <gasps> the slime gun. Okay, also I'm almost out of ammo, so I'm gonna also refill on that. I thought I had plenty of ammo, but apparently you use a lot of ammo in this game. So that's the end of this episode. So, goodbye for now.